I just went to the store and tried to buy some hand sanitizer and I cannot find it anywhere. Hey guys, I'm Leo from Remodeling Calculator and uh, no funny matter, you cannot buy hand sanitizer and uh, you most likely probably know about it. Now, you can actually still make it yourself from, uh, from ingredients that you can still easily buy. Today is March 20th. Uh, in US, it's been like about a week and a half or two weeks of empty shelves, no pasta, no nothing, but these ingredients you can still purchase fairly readily um, and you can make hand sanitizer out of it. So if you go to the store, CVS or like any pharmacy, any like Walmart, Target, any, any place like that, there is no rubbing alcohol, you cannot buy it, but you can buy this grain alcohol, all right? And the reason you can still buy it, and it's available in most liquor stores, is because in America, people don't drink grain alcohol. They drink whiskey and scotch, bourbon, you know, what have you, vodka. But they don't drink grain alcohol, that's why it's still available. In Russia, where I come from, they drink grain alcohol, <laughs> but there's plenty more of it. They, uh, they make a lot more of grain alcohol. Anyway... Um, so you need grain alcohol. You need some glycerin or glycerol. Now they're pretty much the same thing. Glycerin is more like a, a cell name, selling name for glycerol, and it's slightly diluted. So glycerol is practically pure, and glycerin is usually 95% concentration of glycerol. Okay, but here it says pure glycerin. I got this from CVS. Don't try to go there. It's gone. Also, don't try to go for aloe vera. First of all, I don't think it's a good mixture. Uh, the, the, the alcohol will separate from aloe vera and you're not going to have a good hand sanitizer. Go for glycerin. And uh, you can still buy it in on Amazon because people didn't catch the wave of this one. All the aloe vera is gone for a long time. Trust me, I tried to buy it. And uh, it's actually not a good formula. So for this formulation, I'm using the specs or formulation from World Health Organization, WHO. This is what they recommend for hand sanitizer. And uh, they give you proportions on a massive scale uh, where you make like gallons and gallons of this stuff. Now we are going to be making eight ounces of it. So I put down some, uh, some proportions on here. And uh, you will need about 6.65 ounces of alcohol. Now this is for a 96% alcohol. This is 95, so pretty close. And you're still going to have very high concentration of alcohol. So let's go. We are going to need about 6.65 ounces. So just above the 6 ounce line. Alright. So... The grain alcohol you can actually drink, uh, whereas rubbing alcohol can make you blind. So don't drink rubbing alcohol. Probably shouldn't drink this stuff. It's very strong. It burns your throat. But this is made for consumption. You can mix it with water and make like homemade vodka or something like that. Uh, next, we are going to need hydrogen peroxide. And we need about 0.336 of an ounce. And that's just about... Uh, 10 milliliters and I'm going to need to pause and wash this thing all right guys I had to wash my syringe so anyway we gotta put in about one syringe full of hydrogen peroxide okay it's about 10 milliliters there we go. I uh, You can see it on here because the scale kind of came off, but I have a mark where it's 10 milliliters. So, all right. And now, so glycerin is used as a hand moisturizer, so you don't dry or burn your skin with the alcohol. And my previous batch, I actually tried like half a syringe and I feel like it was too much. All right. So we are going to use a quarter syringe. Because, like, I left, I had this, like, you know, fat, like, oily residue on my hands. So, this is, like, three milliliters. I had, like, five to six in the first batch. Okay, so, put this in. And the rest of it got to be water. 
Okay, so we're almost at eight ounce mark. I think we did a little bit too much of the alcohol here. So just at eight ounces. So mix this thoroughly because glycerin is kind of thick and it, uh, it takes a while for it to mix. So mix. But yeah, you don't need a lot of um, glycerin. It's actually really, really like oily, even in small proportions. Okay. Ah, smells like childhood. <laughs> when I was 19, I drank this stuff a little bit one time. Never again. I mean, the green alcohol, not the hand sanitizer. Okay, now we can it's mixed very well all the glycerin is mixed and we can pour it into this eight ounce container and you can keep this in your car like you know if you have to go shopping and you come back, you can just spray all your stuff, all your bags or your hands, your phone, your keys. Really good thing to have around. And uh, so cost me like 20 some bucks for this 1.75 liter bottle. Not expensive, still exists in the wild. So go out and get it if you need hand sanitizer because you cannot buy it. Now think about it. This is three fluid ounce. Two fluid ounce thing like this of hand sanitizer that costs 10 bucks. So two of this, and you can have this. And you know, if the zombies come around, you can also start drinking. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. This was Leo with Remodeling Calculator. I'm going to go spray things.